Hey everyone! So last week I did a shot-by-shot -shot review of the Jungle Book teaser trailer, and I pretty much came to the conclusion that shot-by-shot -shot reviews are the best way to dissect and review a teaser trailer or a trailer in general. And I really loved this trailer for The Good Dinosaur because I felt it's the best formula for a trailer. It gives you an idea of the plot, but without going too much into it, and you get to hear your characters speak. So. I'm going to be breaking this trailer down with about 20 or so frames and talking about the good dinosaur. I also did cut out the beginning of it, which is 10 seconds where we see the asteroid hit the earth or miss the earth, and we see the Disney Pixar uh, logos and whatnot. So let's get right into the trailer. So the first shot of the trailer is of Arlo's dad, and I really like the way Arlo's dad looks. He looks a little aged, which is reflective of the fact that he's older than Arlo, and he's saying we should stop here. He looks really good. and. One thing I really like about The Good Dinosaur is how the dinosaurs are very much animated in comparison to the backgrounds which, which look very real. And I really like that contrast. It actually makes it seem more interesting to me. So I just really like the way Arlo's dad looks here. Especially he looks so concerned at Arlo. So our next shot that we have is of Arlo and his dad together. And it's really crazy to me just how little Arlo is in comparison to his father. But I also really think that's another cool thing. But um, also, Arlo and his father really do stick out. The other dinosaurs that we see actually seem a bit more um, realistic to the backgrounds. Here, these two really stand out, and I definitely think that's because they're the main characters, so they want them to stick out. But I just think this is a great shot. It's dark, it's actually gray. It's gray, but it gives you an idea of what's going on, and we definitely know that trouble is coming. And of course, trouble comes because we see a monsoon start to form above the mountains. I really like just the visual effects that's uh, going on with this shot, how you get to see the lightning and everything. It's very, very powerful looking. And then right after that, you see the mud come, come around, and the mud is what you know pushes Arlo away from his father. And then we get to see Arlo's father look shocked. He tells Arlo to get away. And then following that, we see Arlo in the water. Now, the Arlo in the water, we got to see in the long trailer, um, before we just heard Arlo scream, we didn't hear him say help Papa or anything. So now we have an idea of why Arlo is, you know, trapped in this water, like what's going on with him. And the water I think looks awesome here. Arlo looks terrified and obviously this is what sets up the plot of the movie that the movie is going to be a finding your home story, which I like. I actually think those are very, um, those are good stories, especially with Pixar, they'll do it right. They'll probably have some twists into it. They can be a little boring, but I definitely think with Pixar, it'll be good. So Arlo, like I said, is getting washed away by the storm. So then the next um, shot we have is of Arlo, and he's washed up on the shore, or he got up on the shore, and he's wondering where the hell he is, because he has no clue. He's terrified. He's without his dad. And of course, I do have to say, Pixar decided to get rid of the mom, like all Disney movies do, no moms. So now, where's Arlo? And again, I just think the visuals of the shots are great. Just everything that's going on, the water looks so real. And then Arlo, just because he stands out and your eyes just are drawn right to Arlo. I think that's actually a really good animation call when your eyes just go right towards what's different. So then the next shot we have is of Arlo versus the snake. And this I really like as well because it just shows that Arlo is terrified. Arlo again sticks off the background and I, I'm going to stop talking about how he's sticking off now because I've mentioned it three or four times. But in this shot it's all green and Arlo is a green dinosaur and he's again sticking off and your eyes are just drawn to him and the, the snake that he's fighting and I just think it, it's a really cool um, contrast. I think that Pixar definitely has the visuals of this movie down and again I like the um, animated look of the dinosaurs in comparison to a realistic animated look. And then we go into Spot protecting Arlo. And Spot looks a little bit more realistic, but not too, too much. And I think it's really cool how all of them have different colors. Oh, I guess it's not a snake. It's, um, it looks like actually like Randall from Monsters uh, University. And I just really like how all three of them have different colors. Arlo's green, Spot is um, brown-ish, she's tan, and then the animal that is attacking them is red. And I just think it's a great frame. And then of course Spot is able to, you know, get rid of get rid of it and Arlo and Spot form a bond. So this is what pretty much concludes that Arlo is going to be the boy while Spot is going to be the dog. And then we have that image of Spot with his tongue out and he's lapping it and Arlo is looking like, huh? Like why is this happening? Like where did this kid come from? And I think that's a really cool image, and I also really like how they flipped around the boy and his dog to make you become Dino and his boy. They also flipped around 
the uh, the consonants there too, which I thought was kind of funny. So now we know that the movie is going to be a boy and his dinosaur, or a uh, dino and his boy, and a finding your home story. So the next frame we have is we finally get to see the two Tyrannosaurus Rexes, and there's actually three in this movie. And they just have their roar, and the roars are really cool, and they're going after Arlo. And then one of them says, why are you here, or you shouldn't be down here, something like that. And in comparison to Arlo, he looks really terrifying, but I don't think his role in the movie is going to be antagonistic, at least towards the end. He seems more like a Bruce character from Finding Nemo. And then we get to see how close Arlo is to the T-Rex, and the T-Rex isn't attacking Arlo, which I think is interesting that they decided to make the T-Rex um, antagonistic, but not carnivoristic right to him. I mean, I think, not that I know anything about dinosaurs, but I feel like if a dinosaur saw a little baby one, it would eat it because it's weak and defenseless. So I just really like this shot, and the T-Rex seems a bit more realistic than anything else. And that is my last time talking about realism in this. So again, this shot is just really cool of Arlo with the T-Rex. I just wish I knew their names because there's probably um, a lot of characters in this movie. So for the next frame, we have this great frame of Arlo and uh, Spot uh, on top of him, and Arlo is connecting the the crevice between the two sides of the clip. And uh, in the frame before, Spot had bit Arlo, and now I really do wonder how Arlo is going to get across, because he seems kind of stuck. But I just think that's a really great shot, um, how Arlo is, you know, the bridge, and Spot, the dog, who is supposed to be kind of the dumb one, is able to get him across. I think that's just a great image, and um, it just shows their friendship, and like, Arlo's like, well, I gotta help him. So then we have this awesome frame of Arlo and Spot together. They're happy. The backgrounds are beautiful. I just think this is another great frame to show the, the relationship that's going to be happening with these two. It's definitely a powerful friendship that um, will be the driving force of this film. I wonder, actually, if the film will have like a conflict where, where they will get divided. So then we have the very iconic scene from the first trailer where it had all the lightning bugs come about. And I really like this scene because, A, I love the song that happens during the uh, with it. And I also feel like it reminds me of the Tangled I See the Light scene, just because I just love the visuals of it and how Arlo, um, his green isn't suppressed by the green of the bugs, and then you can see Spot right in the center. And one thing I like about it, even though this, this takes place at night, it's not in darkness, because of, obviously because of the bugs, but like even at nighttime you can see everything. It looks, it's really well lit. Pixar did a great job there. So then we go into this really cool shot of the pterodactyls fighting Arlo and Spot. And the pterodactyls seem to be more of an antagonist in this than the, Tyr than the Tyrannosaurus Rexes. And I'm wondering if Arlo is going to fall into the water again, but I don't think that's gonna happen because we already saw Arlo in the water. But I just thought this is another, another really cool and iconic frame from this teaser trailer and showing more uh, of what's going to be happening during their adventure. And I kind of wish it highlighted the battle between the, the, uh, tyran the, the pterodactyls and Arlo. And then we have this frame where Arlo and and spotted together, Arlo is upset and he gets comforted by Spot, which I think is a great thing showing how a dog, you know, feels um, what's going on with his owner and he makes him feel better because Arlo wants to go home, he wants to find his dad. Another beautiful frame that we have. Then we have this really funny frame where we have three Tyrannosaurus Rexes. I think one might be an Allosaurus and the other two might be a Tyrannosaurus. And then uh, the frame I grabbed was with the Allosaurus, I'm guessing, looking at Arlo and then they all roar because, uh, Arlo, you know, goes rawr too, and I thought that was another really cute frame showing that these three carnivores will have a connection to this herbivore and this little boy. So I really just like this. I think this is probably the best shot of the trailer, and hopefully it'll be like an iconic moment within this movie that people will be remembering for a while. Also, in the trailer, I think they used the Jurassic Park roar of the Tyrannosaurus, so that was another really cool thing to hear too. Then the trailer pretty much ends, and we get a title card which says the good dinosaur it's actually glowy it wasn't glowy in the last trailer and then we get one more little thing where it has Arlo and Spot and it's another frame of Spot com um, comforting Arlo and he goes oh and then the trailer ends and it says uh, move will be out this uh, Thanksgiving um, in 3D and I just thought overall this trailer did a great job of getting people interested and excited and checking out the good dinosaur I really just loved um, all the visuals we got with it. It's very exciting. The animation, I think, is stellar with this movie. I can't wait to be checking it out. It's different from Pixar because you have those really lush and vivid, realistic landscapes to the characters that seem a bit more cartoony, but I like that contrast a lot. Let me know in the comments below if you guys like that. 
And overall, I think this is how a trailer should be set up. You get the ideas in the movie, you get your characters, and you hear their voices. And I just think everything that happened with it is an A plus for a teaser trailer. I just wish the introduction of it um, with the narrator speaking was in English so I could understand it. But I pretty much have an idea. But overall, great trailer, fantastic, I love it. Pixar, you did a great job with getting me interested. And I hope all of you liked this shot by shot review of it. And I will talk to you all in the comments below about it uh, later. And hopefully you will check out my Jungle Book shot by shot uh, trailer review. And I will talk to you guys all later. Thank you for watching this little video. And I will talk to you again all later, like I said, three times. I'm done. Bye, guys.